Okay, to make a basic shape of any shape you want, if you grab a piece of paper, you fold it in half, you can draw whatever shape it is that you want for your teapot. Okay, any shape. After you draw it, you just cut it out. It's like a letter R, but it's going to be more like a butterfly type of thing when I'm done with it. Because that could be the shape of a teapot. When you open it up, you'll have your shape. All you have to do is you put it on top of your clay, you grab a paper clip, and I don't want you to try to cut through it. I don't know why. When you're trying to trace and cut at the same time, your shapes become very uneven. So if you trace it first, then you can go ahead and cut. And this is how you cut. Notice that I'm taking this off. I'm not messing with my shape. If I cut all the way around like this, it's very hard to draw a shape all the way around. And then the other mistake kids make is they try to go in there and they try to take this out. You'll really mess up your shapes. But if you cut along with your shape and you cut in sections, you get a lot more control. Does that make sense for to cut? Yeah. Okay, and then you would have your shape. So um, here's the shape right here. And I'm going to cut it the same way. the spade. So here's my spade ready to go. I'll get a different spade and I know it's not going to be even because of the clay. It's not big enough but it's okay. I'm still going to use it just for the demo purposes. I'm going to trace. And now you have your two pieces. The top and the front. And I'll show you what they look like in a second. You'll grab your clay. And I'm going to pretend this is wedged because I'm recording, so I don't want it to last forever. And I pretend it's one solid piece, okay? I'm going to grab a ruler. And you can do two rulers lengths, or you can do one ruler. Up to you. Depends how thick you want your piece. A young man's making a car, and he needs his piece about that big. But we're going to go here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm going to go across. You can do this across with this one because the ruler's... Uh, kind of thick and it won't bend on your, like with the paper. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab this, I'm going to score right here, and I'm going to add water. You know I'm not just using my finger, I'm going to add water. So I'm going to add water. I'm going to score all the way around this, and I'm going to add water, I'm going to score everywhere, and add water and score. On the edge of this, on the skinny part, I'm going to score, water, score, water, score. Right? Wouldn't that mess it up? And I'm going to lay it here. No, honey, we're not mess it up. I'm going to lay it here, and I'm going to go right there. Just put it on top of it. I told you we need a little coils to keep <coughs> stuff together. So I'm going to add this little coil, skinny coil. I'm going to score both pieces together, and I'm going to put a coil here. Put my hand on the outside, like I told you yesterday. You're going to push down, and then you're going to push up. And if you want it real smooth, go ahead and smooth it out. Now that's going to be the difference between just putting a piece and the air getting inside like I told you yesterday or the smoothness of it. On the outside, I'm going to push up and then I'm going to push back down. Back up, then back down. See how I push in both directions? And I'm going to get a really smooth looking piece right here. Notice how I'm not using water. Kids try to use a lot of water to smooth out clay. And that's a problem because your finger slides and things stay. But if you have a little bit of friction, then you smooth it out real nicely. So I'm going to go all the way around. Here, instead of right here, this part, instead of bending it over, I'm just going to cut it off, and I'm going to use another piece because it's a sharp corner that I want. So I'm just going to use a different piece for this part right here. And of course, I scored and slipped, right? Mm -hmm. And I added my little coil inside. Here's another one, and then here's another one all the way around, and I go all the way around, right? And I have my whole piece. The whole thing. We're pretending this piece is there. So all I have to do now is I'm going to score here. The whole top of this that's finished and has little coils on the inside. I'm scoring the whole thing. I'm going to grab this right here, just like before, my other piece. I'm going to score the whole thing, add water, score the whole thing, add water. Did I add water here? Yes. Okay, good. I'm supposed to add water there too. Score, water, score, water. Then you grab this piece, guys, and you just put it on top. Okay, and you kind of just hit it here the edges a little bit. 
and then you move the clay down and you move the clay up down and up down and up and look you can put your little spout your handle and then you have a teapot that's in the shape of a spade, spade. you can make it a heart you can make it a car you can make it any shape you want and that's how you make a shaped teapot the next video will show you how to make spouts and handles and all kinds of stuff